Hello everyone and psh, psh. welcome to Shiny Chats. If you've never seen one of these, this is my series that I just where I talk about Shiny in music video reactions or collection videos or hauls or whatever, what have you, anything related to Shiny, I talk about it in Shiny Chats. So please consider subscribing if you love Shiny. I have like over 20, are we close to 25? Are we at 25? I don't know, we're somewhere in there, but lots of Shiny Chats to go. But today is a very exciting one because I guess you can kind of count this as my updated shiny photo card collection. I did one a couple of years ago. It's been probably two, maybe three years now. Uh, it's been a while since I last did one, but this is kind of will be an update. First though, what I'm gonna do is refresh this setup a little bit. So right now you can see I have two binders. I wanna point out before I get started, cause I've had some people on TikTok get mad at me. The only reason that this is an OT4 photo is because it is the sunny side pre-order large photo thing and I didn't know where to put it so I put it at the front. This is not indicative of me trying to erase Jonghyun. Same with this. This was the stupid thing from the SM Global package. I didn't know what to do with so they're here but there's lots of Jonghyun in both of these albums. They are there. This is just a placeholder for someday I would like to like actually have a like a cover for them. But getting into it, this binder here, we'll open it, is all of my um group photo cards basically so we have like korean albums and then in the back there's japanese albums and like fan club stuff and postcards and polaroids basically anything and then this is my solo uh, member binder because i used to have them all together and then it got too full and if you can see here we're full again but i have not put my hard photo cards away yet they are all just like sitting in a pile. So that's what we're gonna do today, but they're not gonna fit in this binder because there's so many versions and the really big, these photo card, these postcard things I wanna put in the binder, which I mean, for now at least, that, ugh, it's gonna be hard because I feel like they're barely gonna fit, but I wanna put them in, but there's a lot of them. So we needed an update. So I bought a new binder. This is obviously shiny colored. I got it from Staples. Um, and I and I, I have this thing, which I do like because I can put the extra bits without them falling all over the place. But this, I'm going to transform this into my Korean group album photo card binder. Um, and like take them out of here, put them in here, and then add hard to here. And then this can be the binder for Japanese and everything else cards because there are lots of like random photo cards you know, s photo card sets, like we have like the moment of shine or the fan meeting photo cards or what have you, they can all stay in here. And then we can have just like the group. I, I got a one inch binder because I really like the small binders. Like I just think that they're just easier to handle. This one's kind of annoying and huge. But what we're gonna do first is transfer the, ja the Korean albums from here to here then put hard photo cards away, then I will go through um, all of my other photo cards as sort of my update. So let's get on to doing that. All right, they are in. That is still, you know, we still got some room, that's nice, but that, you know, it, it fills up quite a bit because it like, just like, because with all of the cards, it's not just like having pieces of paper in it. But now we gotta get hard, here, I'll put it to the back, and we gotta get hard all sorted in here. I am so excited to add, to add, ah, okay. So this is what I have to add to the binder. I uh, will start with these. These photos are the, um, these photo cards. Sorry, I was grabbing some stuff, but these photo cards are the K-Town For You pre-order cards. And you'll see I have three of the four. I did actually buy Onu's, so I will have the full set of this. I'm not sure if I'll collect the other pre-order cards because I don't really do that. Like I've never really done that. But because there's four members, I could get a second set and it would fit perfectly on a page. So I might. And actually, while we're at it, I got some of these um, sleeves in uh, Japan, and they're like they're glittery. So I think I'm gonna change out these because they you can't see that at all, but they stick out, and I don't want them sticking out of the sleeve. So I think I'm gonna change them 
for these because that's fun. I thought I like I just live somewhere where it's like not that fun or like there's just not a lot of places to like go to like collect photo cards. Like I just don't live somewhere where you can like there's only kind of like one other than like Walmart. I think there's only like one store in Winnipeg that would sell K-pop albums, you know, so I feel like there's like not that much a cute like photo card like sleeve merch. Um, which is very sad because I love it. Like going to Japan and seeing how like at Tower Records, they would have like a whole section full of these. Honestly, even like I went into Akihabara and would fa find these card sleeves. Probably, they're probably meant for like Pokemon cards or whatever, but like how fun is that to like, and they fit so nicely, like they're actual ones like that fit, not just like the regular penny sleeves. I just, I think that that is great. And I wish that that, was more common where I live, or at least if it, or maybe if I knew where to go for it. But like, that's kind of what you live, like I think it would be more common if I lived somewhere where like concerts happened or something. Cause I think that there's a pretty decent sized K-pop community in Winnipeg, but there's just not, there's still, we're still not at a point where there's like a lot of stuff to do related to K-pop. It's it's getting better, like there is some stuff now, but we don't really have very many like cup sleeve events or like other events. We have like the K-pop club night, which I think is ha something that happens at least all over Canada. Like it's a traveling thing. So that only happens once in a while, but that happens, that exists, but we don't really have much else, but you, yay, so fun, okay. So then we will put these in. These are the Ultra Pro um, sleeves. I just, I got them on Amazon. I've had them for a long time. They're, I think all of my sleeves at, a, at this point are Ultra Pro. I think I know I have like some of like the full size one, some of the four square one, and then some of the nine pocket one. Okay, I'll leave a space for own use. Then I always put shiny in age order because I just can't, I just can't not put them in age order, so. We will do that. And then I'll be excited when I get own use. And then honestly, I probably will end up maybe collecting another set of these. Cause I find that these pre-order cards way easier to find than the photo book version, which is very silly. Uh, the photo book version photo cards, but I think I would, I'll wait to buy these um, until I get all of the hard photo cards. Cause we're still working on it. Uh, then we will do the Digipack and SM mini uh, sections on the same page because they just have one version of each and they're the only set at this point that is completed. I uh, got, I think if you watch my unboxing, you'll see it. Remember for this one, I got two keys. I ended up was able to trade a key for an Onu. So we have that. And then for the SM minis, I had two of these ones that I was able to trade somebody for both of my, the ones that I was missing, which was super lucky. Uh, so I will put these in sleeves as well. I am very inconsistent in my in my sleeving of cards, uh, just because I if I run out of sleeves and I don't sleeve them and then I'll go back and sleeve some. Again, I got these regular clear ones uh, in Japan at Tower Records. I think I bought I bought a lot of them because I was like they're pretty cheap and like who knows when I'll come back and these will last me a li at least a little while. So we will put these in. Okay, so then we will put these in. And because there's only one version, it's exciting. I uh, would love to create like a kind of like an, like for the one, the, cause there'll be one extra square at the bottom. So I might create a, like a card to um, uh, like a title card or whatever, you know, like, so I can say like what versions these are or whatever. You'll see that I did that for Don't Call Me when I show the rest of my cards. So I might end up doing that for this as well. I haven't really done, I haven't really gone back and like really done that for a while. I had like, just like a blank piece of paper kind of, but I'd like to like customize them. I think that would be fun. And then these ones, do, do. No, nope. And, but will I ever get around to that? It's to be seen. But yay, my most full page. It's gonna be much less satisfying going forward <laughs> because I have bought quite a few of the, um, the, oh, no, wait, we have play version first. Then we'll get into 
the photo book versions, but the play versions I'm actually only missing. I have all of um, them except for Tame Ends because I've I have a, the fourth um, group card that I bought. It's just not here yet, and then but I haven't bought Tame Ends yet. I haven't been able to find it, so we're almost done with this version, which is exciting, but. I don't know about you guys, I've been finding it really difficult to find the, um, the, the photo book version photo cards anywhere, like just anywhere for not like, and they're all, and if I do find them, they're so expensive. Like, and I'm sure that part of that reason is because you only get one photo card in the album. So while other play, you know, so while like some other ones, like say for this version, you get a group card and a, solo member cards so you can kind of split the difference of like the album cost in between two but if you just get one photo card it has to kind of take a little bit of the brunt which I like can understand but also my god like they, they range between like for me I'm Canadian for like between like 10 and 15 dollars per photo card and there's two for each, versions for each member and then three versions <gasps> like there's so many cards it's just bonkers so I have bought quite a few of the cards. This is gonna be a pretty unsatisfying for me putting them away right now just because I don't have them yet, but I think I'll do a haul once those albums arrive, or once those photo cards arrive at least. And then I'll leave a space for Tame In, and then the group cards. Oh, this one needs to sleep too. Ah, oh, I love this group card so much. I'm so happy that when I pulled, I really didn't get many duplicates, which I love in my pulls. Cause I could have, oh, and I just, I forget, I keep forgetting. I love these backs so much. So there's the play version. And then the most unsatisfying version or the rest, because for the three photo book versions, again, there's two versions for each member and three photo book versions. This is all that I got. These are just the, my polls. These are the ones that I pulled in my albums. Obviously they're all key, but that means that each page is only gonna have one photo card on it, which is very sad. But like I said, I'll do a video once those other cards arrive because I've bought in quite a few of them. I will actually show you on my phone here if it'll focus. Yeah, so this is my um, tracking list, I guess, for it. So as you can see, I've bought in quite a few of them, I'm missing basically every Tame In photo card because like they're expensive and I, or I can't find them. But we're closer here than we are in person right now. Uh, so if we follow this, then so for the runner version, that's this card, and so it'd be Onu Onu Onu. Okay, so we'll put this one here. It'll be very satisfying because I feel like with Don't Call Me, I was able to um, complete the collection quite fast, but you also got a lot of versions in each album. So that really helped. This one, I just, I have, I, I find it difficult to justify buying an entire album just for the one card, but it's like, they're, they're expensive. <laughs> and so then what is, we'll do the maker version next. So that is this one. And then the Dreamer version, which is then this one. Great. So yeah, this is this album's gonna fill up real quick because something I want to put. These might not end up having. To, these might have to go somewhere else. But I really want to put these in the album because I just, I love them. And I have bought quite a few of these because for each version of the photo book, there's one per member. And so I've bought in quite a few of them. I think that like, I think I bought all three of Onu's and actually did I, have, did I buy them all? Maybe I'm missing one, but I bought some of them at least. So I do want, but they don't fit into any like ultra pro sleeves that I have. So I have these like cheap film protectors from um, like staples or whatever that they do fit into, except they do stick out at the top a little bit. I'm not that concerned over that just because these albums, I don't really move these albums very much. So like, I'm not worried about like, oh, what if I damage it up there? But at this point I don't really move my, like my albums really don't move at all. Like they stay 
in this room at the spot and so maybe when I move, if I ever move again or I decide to move the albums or the photo cards around or something, I will get a different sleeve. I would just, I just would really like these in my, um, in the binder, but again they might have to go somewhere else. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know if you collect, especially OT5, but any shiny photo cards, what are you doing with these big, these big postcard photo things? Like, are you putting them in your binder? Are you leaving them in the album? Let me know. But we'll put these in. At least with these, like, I'll double them up. Like, I'll put one on the, I'll put one on the back when those get here. So, eh. All right, and with that, they're all in there. As you can see, we still have some room, but it is quite a full binder. But now is probably the part that you guys are all the most excited about, which is my, zoom out just a little bit, uh, is the photo card collection, updated collection tour or whatever. Uh, you can go back and watch my original um, photo card collection, or my uh, my one from a couple like from two years ago that I all I did a three part like mega series for that where they're all very long and I show you everything at the time that I had for shiny. This was the just this you can consider this the update to the photo cards. Um, these are fan made. They are fake. Romeo did not come with photo cards, but I saw these a lot. I've had these for a long time, and they're some of my favorite photo cards, even if they're fake. But I, that's why they're in the binder. They're fake. Then we have Lucifer. This is the Japanese press because I've never been able to find the Korean press for like an amount of money I would, I'd be willing to spend, but I consider it still a complete collection because this is still an official card. It's just the Japanese press. All of Sherlock. I don't have the Taiwanese Avex cards, the group card. And then Dream Girl. Why so serious? I don't have any of version B because they didn't include Jong Hyun and they're more expensive, but that is probably something at some point that I will attempt. We'll see. Misconceptions of Us. This is my favorite group card. The everybody group card is, oh, it's so beautiful. And then we start with odd. See, this is what I mean. I started, I did this for a while and then I just did, then I just put blanks in them at some point, but then we have odd, both versions, married to the music, uh, one of one. You see, I don't, or one and one. I don't have one of one in here, the doc tees, cause I don't really care about them. I do have in my albums still, I have Onyu's and Jong Hyun's and I might, end up actually, I found them on Baiyi for not that much, so I end, might end up buying them and then they'll go in here, but they're not photo cards, so I don't care about them as much, but we have one and one. This is the only dang card that I'm missing. It's the baby tame in card, because I can find it sometimes, but it's so expensive and I'm just, I just, I don't know, man. I'm not willing to pay that much for it. It's a piece of cardboard, but God, I want it so bad. That's like the card. That'll be the bait of my existence until I end up cracking and spending a bunch of money. But then story of light, one, up two, three, and then epilogue. Then we got the don't call me. This is what I mean. This is what I did for don't call me. So I might end up doing something like that for the rest of them at some point. But we have these. I have the completed set of this whole, um, this whole album, the phone cards, slide films. This is the group card. It's very dark or the group one, but it's dark and the postcards. There's the other two. You can see them. Yes. And then we have Atlantis. I finally got the, this card, which is so exciting. And then the big postcard things. I wish that the ones for hard were these same size. These are a nice size, but Whatever, and then the sticker, the these card things, and then the stickers. And then we're into the, what you just saw, of hard. So there's that, very underwhelming, underwhelming, underwhelming. And then eh, these, one, and then two, and then three. So that is all of the Korean group cards that I own. Uh, we will go into this, which is the solo photo card binder. Like I said, this is what I got from the SM Global package. It's like a magnet thing. If you watch my, I think I showed this in my shiny haul from Japan and Korea. You, I did. I actually did rip this part of it like off because they're they're very weird, and I don't know. Like I don't know. It's weird, but you are a, are able to like take them off. I kind of like whatever sticky thing. So I did that, and now it's here. Um. So in this side, we have some of these that I just haven't put away that I think I need to. Some of them I think are extras. 
Like this one, I'm not sure. I might need to, just didn't have room for it. This might, oh, this one probably too, the killer ones. I think this is the one that was a, a duplicate. So I just had it back here and then the killer tattoos and stickers. And then I had an extra one of the Own You Life Goes On for Tame In. These are the solo ones. So uh, Ace, press your number, move, moving, want, want, SM, uh, uh, Super M, the, uh, his, uh, what's it called? The, L, the 2019 Christmas uh, fan meeting thing. Super One, Super One, Criminal, Idea, or, okay. Then we're gonna dance again Act One and then Act Two. I kind of, at some point I would like to get further because a lot of these I'm missing a lot of cards, but at least I got some. And then that was, yeah, so then that's the um, the deluxe or whatever version of Never Gonna Dance Again, that big two CD one. And then uh, that one, advice, advice. No, that's not advice. That is from their Beyond Live something or other. And then these were from the Spow Home 6v6. You got, I bought like a mug and a shirt and these came with them. And then we got these. I said I wasn't gonna go fast or I wasn't gonna go slow through these. Let's go, okay. And then there's that from Advice, then for Jong Hyun, very, um, my kind of sad, I wish I had more of his cards, but I am only missing one of Story Op 2, and then I think one from She Is, maybe? I probably would just get one more, at least, of She Is. SM The Ballad, this is fake, but I liked it, so there it is. And then for Onyu, um, this is from the uh, Jinro Soju collab, this is from Bistro to Shiny, this is from his own you note, I bought the hoodie and it came with that photo card. And then got, you know, uh, voice and then dice. And I did buy the other you to make own you, which is exciting. And then these are all from Life Goes On. And then from Circle, I do have one other photo card, but I keep that um, in my little display that I made. And then we got dice and dice and the life goes on. And then for key. This is from Two Heart, the Jinro Soju thing again, Beast Road to Shiny, Face, I Wanna Be. I think there might only be one other album card, because I know they released like, the Kino cards, and I don't have any of the Kinos because I don't like them, so we'll get that at some point. And then we just get into the amalgamation. I have so many keys. The, these, uh, and this one? Oh no, this one was from the Season's Greetings. I got the little uh, photo card binder thing. And then these were from Keys. General Soju collab thing. I bought the mug or the cup thing, the glass, that's the word, the glass in Korea. But then otherwise, these are for bad love. And then I love these, bad love. And then some more of the ones, love, gasoline, kind of the, the mix of whatever I could fit in. Cause I don't like to have a ton of empty spaces in mine, but then we got gasoline and killer. And then more of that. Gasoline killer. That. And then for my very sad Minho page. Um, best choice Minho. And then I think the rest of these are Chase. Am I correct? I am. And then I have two of this one in here. So uh, if you want to trade for that, for one of the ones that I don't have from Chase, let me know. And then this. Oh, this is also from Chase. And then this is a photo card deco thing. Uh, that I got from Best Choice. That's where that photo card came from. And it, I have never done, used, it, used it, so it's in the binder now. And then last, but certainly not least, is my Japanese and other photo cards. Um, so I have a lot of like the Jinro Soju collabs, um, some Taemin pin badge thing. This is a Taemin thing and some stickers. I put, I've, I put a lot of the stickers on this just as a way to keep them, which is fun. Then um, these are the Japanese Sherlock uh, photo cards. There is a second version of all of these, but I'm not really pressed on getting them. And then the your your name, your number. I don't know why I said your the your number uh, photo cards and three two one, which is a more recent one that I have completed. Very exciting. These are some pre order cards from uh, the Lucky Star. And then this is um, a, a little folder thing from I'm Your Boy, um, from Juliet, from, is that also from, from I'm Your Boy? 
Um, eh, eh, I can't remember. It's a pre-order photo from something. And then pre-order sticker from Winter Wonderland. And I think this is the pre-order postcard from Lucifer, but that could be a lie. That could just be fake. I can't remember on the top of my head. Um, but then we have uh, I'm your boy. Nope. Boys Meet You. My God. So that other one, this one is from Boys Meet You. And this one is from the, what's it called? I'm your boy. This one's from I'm your boy, Boys Meet You. There's too many boys. Uh, Lucifer, Thousand Years Always By Your Side. Juliet, these ones are from I'm your boy. Nope, Boys Meet You, but the, the other Boys Meet You, the single Boys Meet You out, <laughs> the single uh, Boys Meet You. These are from the full album Boys Meet You. Then we have the first five Winter Wonderland, I'm Your Boy. Fire, Dazzling Star, Dazzling Girl, <laughs> uh, Sing Your Song, Lucky Star. Mwah. They're kind of all in an all order. There's no like chronological order to this. It's just sort of whenever I got the album, I would just put them in here. And then as I complete collections, I give them then their, and then I give them their own page up here. So I'm your boy, I'm very close. I just have Taemin in the group to get. Then these are from Superstar. These are all my cards that I got. And then these are also from, oh, that one's empty, but these postcards are also from Superstar. And then this is the Superstar pre-order big photo folder thing. These are from the um, fan club, the, the initial, like the first 20, what was that, 2019, 2018 fan club membership thing. And these are from Shiny's 13th anniversary. We have the SMCU thing. I did actually end up buying uh, Keys uh, This and then an, one of the Own You This just to fill in that because I was so close anyway. That's also from SMCU, but I don't think I'll complete this this one. I don't care that much about the SMCU albums. This is from their first arena tour. I have just taped Junk in a Tame In. These are the I Am postcards. And then we get into the Shiny World 5 postcards and then the Surprise Vacation Polaroids, which I love so much. And then we'll get into the Dream Girl Polaroids here. And then these are from the, the Day Photo Book. These are the postcards that came with the Day Photo Book. This is also a pre-order photo for Dazzling Girl. I just put it here because it fit. These are the Shiny World J rock paper scissors cards I'm, I'm not sure what they're actually called but i have every uh, one except for tame in at this point you can uh, yeah see them there which is very exciting these are fun i really like these cards they're cute then we have the jinro soju um magnet slash stickers i think these are and then these are the star cards is that what they were called they were like a trading card that sm did very 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 briefly and these are just the ones that i have i don't plan on ever like completing this i'm not going to try and get all those cards but there they, they were there and then these were from a 2012 calendar i think i bought them off of somebody and they just like one jonghyun is missing i think but i like them so they are in here and then we have some fake um chocolate frog cards of shiny then we have some more stickers. This is a GOT7 card. I used to have all my photo cards in this binder and then I moved, but this is a GOT7 flight log. Is this, was this departure? Yeah, from de from flight log departure. It's a that. JB and Yu Gim, who are my two biases, and then some other looks like GOT7 um, cards because I had a lot of GOT7 stuff in here at the time. But with that, that is my entire photo card collection. Well, my shiny cards. I have other cards, but these are the ones that I pay attention to the most. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. This is probably a little bit of a lengthy video because I talk too much, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. Uh, if you have any of the photo cards in here, like that I'm missing from here, whether it's from the group or the solo or Japanese, any of the cards that I'm missing, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm always open to buy, um, I'll, to buy cards. I do have actually extras of, let me, oh my God, everything's falling apart. That's okay. I have actually um, extras of 
Jong, uh, Jong Hyun and Min Ho's Your Number. I have two, I have extras of these two cards, so I would be willing to trade anything for those uh, or sell those, I guess, if you were interested. But yeah, always let me know if you have photo cards that I'm missing available because I would like to buy, I like to buy from people rather than like, I guess you're buying from people on like buy eat and stuff, but it's if I buy from people that I like get to talk to, it feels a little bit more personal. But yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in whatever my next video ends up being. Bye.